Okay, guys. So let's look to the first questions. Okay, this is the questions on electrostatic. Okay, figure one shows two point charges, Q1 and Q2, uh, that are placed 15 cm apart. Uh, cm, centimeter. Uh, please take note, uh, the uh, unit. Okay, the unit, centimeter. You must change to SI unit. Okay. Uh, if the charges Q1 and Q2 are 10 nanocoulomb and negative 10 nanocoulomb, okay, so please pay attention to the unit, okay, the unit nano, sorry, okay, please pay attention to the unit nano, okay, uh, respectively, Calculate the force acting on Q1. Oh, he want the force only on Q1. Yeah, only on Q1. So draw the force only on Q1. So what is the force acting on Q1? Yeah. So here got two point charges. So uh, Q1. Uh, okay, Q1 is a positive charge. Yeah. Uh, Q1 is a Okay, so please take note about the sign of charge. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, please take note the sign of charge. Yeah, this is positive and Q2 is negative. Uh, so you can label there. Uh, you can label there. This is a uh, positive and this is negative. Okay, so um, so. Q1, uh, these two charge charge is post uh, opposite charge, yeah? opposite uh, positive and negative. So positive negative they attract each other, isn't it? Okay, attract each other. So force on Q1 is Q1 will be attracted to Q2. Uh, so this is uh, the uh, Q1 will be attracted to Q2. So that means uh, this is actually F uh, two on one, yeah. So, F2 on 1, okay, so how to do, uh, F2 1 is equal to uh, KQ1 Q2 over R square, okay, uh, so you substitute the K9 exponent 9, okay, uh, and then the charge Q1 and Q2, okay, Q2, even though it's a negative charge, but we still, uh, don't put the sign here, uh, no need negative sign, okay, uh, no need, so, uh, let me see, uh, no, the charge, no need, negative, because, why, because, uh, vector, no need, the charge, no need to put the sign, okay, if, uh, if vector, F, the charge, no need negative sign, okay, don't need to substitute, we just want to find the magnitude, okay, and then radius is, uh, the distance is uh, 15 cm, change to meter, so 0 0.15, square, don't forget uh, the square, you have square here, and uh, so the answer is this one, lah. Uh, the, uh, the direction is to the right, okay, to the right, so uh, this is the mark allocation, lah. okay, uh, this is the marks, Okay, you have three marks here. Okay. Now for question uh, B, calculate the electric field strength at point P. Okay, so at point P. Okay, so how? Electric field strength at point P. So you have two point charges. So uh each of these uh, charge will exert electric field on P. Okay, so let's uh, first we must draw the electric field on P. Okay, uh, this is um, so Q1 is positive charge, Q2 is negative. So Q1 the charge, the electric field is going out, isn't it? Going out. So this uh, uh this is E1. Okay. And then Q2 is uh, Q2 Q2 is negative. Q2 is negative, so E2 is towards. 
uh, okay uh, so this is e2 all right uh, okay so uh, this is e1 and this is e2 okay now uh, let's calculate the the value uh, e1 and e2 e1 okay uh, formula electric field strength is kq over r square okay so q1 is this charge okay r distance is a uh, 15 cm away change to meter okay remember the square okay and this is the value 4000 so equal to e2 e1 equal to e2 because uh, q2 also have the same charge and also uh, q2 is uh, 15 cm same distance also okay so same value Okay, now we got E1 and E2. Now, uh, because we know this is um, got two components, X and Y component. So we must resolve into X and Y component. Okay. So, um, so, uh, okay, now. So, uh, you must find, to resolve the two uh, vector, E1 and E2, you must have angle. So, uh, first of all, uh, these three sides, they all are 15 cm. So, we can say uh, they are equal length. Equal length, this is equilateral triangle. So, this should be uh, uh, 60 degree. Yeah, this one should be 60 degree. And uh, this uh, small one, it should be... 30 degree. Uh, so this part also 30 degree. Okay. Uh, so now we have the angle already. We can resolve. We can resolve. So um, remember uh, the direction also important. Going to the right positive, going up positive, going down is negative. Okay. Uh, put the, the negative. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, this is the for for ex uh, for ex uh, this is the uh, you have two component uh, uh, e1x and e2x uh, because both of them uh, both of the e1 and e2 x component is to the right so both positive lah uh, both positive yeah so we resolve uh sine 30 sine 30 and that's how that's why we get ex 4000 okay for the y component uh for the y component also add up both uh component e1y and e2y uh, however e2y is negative you see e2y is negative why uh, why e2y is negative because uh, E2Y, the Y component of E2 is downward, downward is negative, okay? Uh, E1Y is positive because upward, okay? Uh, so, oh, sorry, this should be uh, using cos, yeah? This one should be using cos, sorry, uh, this one should be cos. Yeah. So okay, because e2y is downward, so that's why negative. Okay, so they cancel each other, they get zero. All right. Okay. So in the end, so the the s component four thousand y component is zero. So we can say the re total or resultant electric field at p is only the x component four thousand, uh, and the x component is a positive. Positive means to the right. Okay. Positive means to the right. Direction to the right. Okay. Uh, you must give magnitude and direction. Because this is a vector, you must give direction also. But then only can full marks. Okay. Now, what is the potential difference between P and Q? Okay. Uh, potential difference between P and Q. Uh, so you see, uh, he he um, he asked for a uh, potential difference. So there are two points P and Q. 
So that means you have to find potential for P and potential for Q. Then you minus them. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, find the potential for P. Yeah? Potential for P is equal to uh, V1 plus V2. Okay. Uh, because there are two charge. Two charge. So potential at P. So you must have V1 for Q1 and V2 for Q2. Okay. So uh, VP equal to V1 plus V2. Uh, so potential formula is KQ over R. Uh, no square. Uh, no square. Uh, KQ1 over R1 plus KQ V2 is KQ2 over R2. Uh, then you substitute the value. Okay. Uh, this is the value. Uh, remember the Q2 is uh, a negative charge. Uh, so for this case, this potential is a, a scalar. Okay, if scalar, uh, the charge, the the charge, the charge mass negative sign. Uh, the the sign is important. You must put the negative sign. Okay, the negative sign is important. Uh, the negative sign is important. You must put a. Uh, okay. Uh, so, okay, they cancel, they get zero, right? So, potential at P is zero. And then, again, uh, for, for point Q, for point Q, uh, also find potential at due to Q1 and Q2. So, uh, so find the VQ equal to V1 plus V2, uh, KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. So again, the sign is important. Yeah, you must the the charge uh, must have negative sign because why? Because um, this is a potential is a potential is a scalar quantity. So the charge must have negative sign. So it must have negative sign. Uh, and the distance, uh, this one is a distance. So you get this value. Yeah, one three five zero volt. Okay. Uh, in the end, you can find the potential difference between the two points by minus lah, v delta V. Uh, delta is the difference lah, difference between P and Q. So VPQ equal to VP minus VQ. Uh, so in the end, we get negative 1350 volt. Uh, this is the potential difference between P and Q. So uh, this is how we give the marks lah. Okay, uh, yeah, question C, we have uh, one, two, three marks. Okay, thank you.